some charred greens with a citrusy vinaigrette. So the way that I do this, I take a clove of garlic. I leave the skin, everything on. I give it a little smash. I take a stick of butter. Yes. I throw it in the pot. Let it melt. It's gonna be a big garlic party. I'm gonna pour it over my hand-torn croutons. Mm. Nice little pinch of salt and some pepper. Toss this all together. So I toss that with the butter. I grab my cast iron pan. Croutons go in. Indirect heat, 375-ish degrees till they are nice and toasty, and then croutons are done. So next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start working on our salad with these greens. I have endive, escarole, and kale. And Lizzie is gonna come out and help me do a little vinaigrette shake up. So I'm gonna kind of char favorites. the greens up, give them a little bit of smokiness. And I was thinking like anchovy vinaigrette. Could you like whip together an anchovy vinaigrette? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna squeeze two lemons. Which I'm just gonna put, and I'm gonna probably spill some, so be prepared. Oh, that's nifty. I think that's good enough. So now I'm just gonna grate two cloves of garlic in here, a little bit of heat from the garlic. Dijon here, you have a, it's got a little Dijon crazy. Dijon guy worked up. About a tablespoon. We're just putting a mince on the anchovies. This is a great way to kind of get that yeah. salinity and that flavor and, and the things I love so much about right. anchovies. Okay, <laughs> to this, four ounces of olive oil. And now, for a little bit more spice, pepper flake. <laughs> And then, instead of whisking and all that nonsense, you just shake. The great thing about this is you could make extra dressing and then just keep it yeah, in the fridge. Yeah, I just keep it in the fridge. Here's how this works now. I'm gonna brush them with this. Uh, and then we're gonna uh, use uh, it fancy. to dress it at the end, but it's gonna add a good amount of flavor here at the beginning too. And we'll do the same thing with the escrow, a little bit of a brush, and you get in there. And it's this the, the fat in here is also gonna help the chars in addition to adding some extra flavor. So I'm gonna start loading these on a grill. I'm over like medium heat here. You don't have to go offset. You could go directly over the heat and you're gonna grill your greens for about two to three minutes on the flat side. I don't flip them. We also are gonna have these big crunchy croutons. Woo, they're looking good by the way. I'm gonna put these in your mixing bowl. Oh, so heavy. All right, so now the greens. I think it's easier to eat when you cut it. Okay, how's that? Great. Good. And again, cut these up. Great. And then we have a nice little bunch of chives. I'm gonna keep the chives kind of chunky. And I'm gonna just dress all this now? Yeah, right. dress it, because Parmesan cheese. Because this is a cheese. salad that you don't have to dress very last minute. It's okay if it absorbs some because it's a little heartier. Right, this isn't like a delicate little mescaline. Right, So this smells incredible. It I, smells like Caesar-y. Also look at this cheese. Mm. 